Uh, good morning, folks. Papa Joe here. Time for a little rant. <coughs> now, several things I could go on a rant about. One of them is TA I'm at in Big Spring, Texas. They just came out at 6 o'clock in the morning and taped off all the fuel islands. Damn. They got a big computer download update nonsense. Okay. I guess you got it to do, but 6 o'clock in the morning? No. Oh, think they'd do that at midnight. But I ain't gonna rant about that. Could go on about the hours of service. These ELDs. Here I am awake. Didn't sleep for the damn last night. Might be part of the reason why I'm grumpy old fart going on a rant. So instead of getting to drive, make use of this time that I can't sleep, Sitting here waiting on a computer to give me permission to leave. Yeah. I ain't going on a rant about that either. I could, but I'm not going to. Now, I stayed up late last night watching the President's State of the Union address. How many of y'all actually watched it? I thought the man did pretty good overall. There wasn't a bunch of eyes. There was a couple of them. Uh, he addressed his accomplishments as all of D.C. and the country had retro. It wasn't a look at me type deal. And there had been quite a few accomplishments in the last year. He did do the... I don't know how to really take it. I've never really liked it where they bring people into those gigs. They don't bring them up on stage, but they call attention to them. You know, just for a little bit of showboating, in my opinion. Maybe it's acknowledging them. I don't know. I guess it depends on how you look at it. I know for the uh, parents from Long Island, I fell for them. They had lost both of them and lost their daughters. They was best friends, and they got killed by a gang of illegals. And I fell for them. As you can tell, all that was doing was bringing back some bad memories. They knew why they were there, you know, because their daughter had been killed. Oh, I know the wounds. I know the pains. Uh, the only part that I didn't like last night on the whole deal was the reaction from the Democrats. Old Nancy Pooh Face from California and that big old black dude for the Black Caucus. He sat there like this all night. Okay, he didn't have a cigarette. But they were bound and determined. All them Democrats, the majority of them, they were bound and determined that they would not like what Trump had to say. I am not clapping. And he actually got some booze when he started talking about immigration. Huh. And it ain't like it was a big old stadium full of regular people. These are our elected idiots up there. 
that's having a little tantrum party. There was stuff that he would say to try to bring the country back together. That's why I think he addressed it like he did, giving all the kudos to everybody, sharing the acknowledgments and the achievements. Our last president damn sure wouldn't have done that. Hell, they used to have beer games off of the eyes. How many times I did something? There were some drunk individuals. But uh, he would talk about an accomplishment or something he wanted to do, which was obviously good for the country. The damn Democrats sitting over there. Now, I understand that there's supposed to be a little difference, conflict, whatever, opinions between the parties. I don't think that it should be so personal as they're making it. You would watch and there'd be a standing ovation for maybe one of the guests. Democrats didn't want to stand. Now don't mistake the judges sitting up front, the Supreme Court judges. The only thing that they're supposed to react to is anything about our military. Everything else they're supposed to be bipartisan and, uh, and different. Yeah. <laughs> How in the world Is our nation supposed to heal? If them damn fools up there in D.C. can't figure out how to get along. They're worse than a bunch of damn grade kid, grade school kids. They really are. It's my toy. I'm going home. I make the rules. It's my toy. No, it's our friggin' country. And we elected you assholes to do a job and you're not doing it. Why are you so worried about immigration and allowing illegals to stay and come in? Why is that on the top of your agenda? How is that helping the American people? Y'all need to be asking yourselves this because uh, you need to be asking them that. And you need to be asking yourselves, why are they so worried about them? I only wish that they would take some of the stuff that involves you and I as serious as they are this immigration nonsense. How come they don't have this passion for the American people? Where are their priorities? Why are they so worried about the immigrants? Trump started addressing it last night. And he even mentioned that... Uh, <coughs> on the proposed agreement 1.3 million people would have a door open to citizenship now I'll grant you 
there's stipulations there. They uh, have to want to be Americans. Damn, go figure. They'd have to have education, a job, a desire. Why ain't that a hell of a deal? Talking to a friend of mine yesterday. We hadn't talked in a couple of weeks. And I mentioned the deal about these young adolescents that was born here, illegal. And I have a bit of a tender heart. And I told him I didn't think we needed to just round them all up and ship them out. And he said, well, it's kind of like if their parents robbed a bank and gave them the money, he said, and the parents got caught, would you let the kids keep the money? That's a whole different ballgame. That don't wash, in my opinion. Yeah, I know you can make it sound almost the same. Hell of a lot different than robbing a bank and being brought over here as a baby, not of your own accord. If their parents robbed a bank and gave them the money and they knew about it, then they're accomplished an accomplice to a crime. If they was brought over here unknowingly, how are you gonna hold them accountable? So to me, yes, there is a, a little gray area there. And no, I don't have the answers to it. But my point is, Trump said they've been working on it, and one of the agreements was 1.3 million people. That's a lot of people. That it would open the door for possible citizenship if they qualified. Democrats wouldn't even stand for that. That was part of their booing and hissing was right before he started that. Really? You're bound and determined to disagree with him? They said when he won the election that they would do everything they could to block any progress he tried to make. And they've been standing by their word. Anything that they can do they have done. Any place that they can disagree, they have. Any roadblock they can throw up, they have. And there's not a good reason for it. Get over your little hissy fit. Hillary did not win. The nation did not want a murderer and a thief and a liar for our president. We elected a respectable businessman. Whether you like it or not, before he ran for president, all you fools out there in the news media world, y'all loved him. You couldn't get enough of him. But once he started running against your person, he became dirt. Not to the rest of us. As much as I disliked him as a, a person because of some of his personality treat, traits, I liked him because he had a backbone and he wasn't afraid to say what he thought. He wasn't afraid to call the truth. I just couldn't believe last night. That's what I kept focusing in on as I watched that video. I couldn't believe how many of them just sat there. And that one dude. If he wasn't like that, he would like this. This is a, a stance of defiance. We got a long ways to go. 
and the media is not helping. That was actually ABC that had recorded it. And they're still, they opened up with their false news saying how he has the lowest popularity of any president in history. Bullshit. You're, in a, you're talking to, you're polling the wrong people. Pretty much 99% of the people I've talked to like him and like the job he's doing. So how can it be all but 100% out here, but in the media, it's the lowest of any president in history. You're lying again, more your fake news. Then you wonder why we don't care to listen to you. We don't watch you. Because we can't trust you. You, news media, have the lowest populate, popular vote since the beginning of news. Y'all are so full of yourselves and you think we're idiots. I personally take it when people talk to me like that that they think I am one stupid individual. But when they talk to us as a public, as a nation like that, they think all of us are some stupid individuals. It ain't so. It ain't so. Some of us have got a clue. You know the really stupid ones? The ones that's buying your fake news. Those are the stupid ones. The ones that refuse to think for themselves. The ones that refuse to open their eyes. The ones that gladly and proudly claim to be liberals and Democrats. There's your stupid people. Simply because they won't open their eyes. Whatever you feed them, they eat. You remember, the, what were they, Lyman's? The little bitty critters that just follow each other right off the cliff every so many years. That's your Democrat Party. Like it or not. And their leaders last night sitting up there. That wasn't a defiance thing to me. That was a screw you thing to me, to the president and to the country. And just think, I could have been ranting about these few islands being closed. I'm parked on a few islands. I have been for this whole video. Of course, it's taped off behind me. I could have been ranting about that ELD. No, I decided to talk stupid. I decided to talk Democrat. Yeah, folks, we got a problem. And I've told you before, I can tell you how to fix it. Election's coming up. Get rid of them idiots. Seriously. Get rid of them. If they're sitting up there like this, and old Nancy Poo face making her weird facial expressions, this right here tells you they're not working for you. This tells you they have an agenda, and we're going to work for it. We don't care about you or the American people. Screw you, President. We're going to block you. We want our way our way or we're going to shut her down again. <coughs> Y'all remember, God loves you and so do I. Those elected idiots up there, we need to get rid of them. 
Some of them been up there so long, they don't have a clue what planet reality is on, much less understand reality. Their nonsense about, oh, I can relate to the working people. I am the working people. No, you ain't. You're a politician on the take. Y'all think about it. Have a good day. God bless.